Hey guys, we're out here today on the Washita River, getting ready to put our nets out. It is April, the first of April. What's the uh, third? Today's the third. Got Miss Danielle over here with me, just me and her today. I don't ever come on the river when I got somebody in the boat with me. I always have somebody with you. Most times it's one of the guys, everybody's busy today, but that's okay. Uh, putting them in ain't that big a deal. Getting them back in the boats, what's the big deal? I thought today, since we're just putting our nets out, we're not going to be catching any fish today. But I always got a lot of comments about where to set my nets and how to set them. Uh, got guys sending me messages trying trying to get some help on this. And I'm going to take advantage of the day and... Uh, try to answer some of those questions show you a little bit about the conditions we're fishing uh, if i didn't already have my net sets picked out that i've been fishing for years what i'd be looking for to maybe try and and how i'd go about doing that so i'm gonna go over a little bit of that today maybe it'll help some people out first of all on, here on the washita river you know at uh probably pool stage where we're at here this river would be maybe maybe 30 feet deep in places here maybe maybe deeper than that there's some deep holes we're north of monroe here in north louisiana and right now it looks to be 10 to probably 10 to 15 foot above pool stage 10 12 foot something like that and you can see we're about seven eight foot probably from getting out of the banks so the river's up it's got a lot of current in it the first thing you're gonna need is some good anchors you want to catch catfish you're gonna to have to get these nets down low in the water column on bottom or close to it and you're gonna need some good anchors you can see what we got we got anchors we've been using for years and uh i don't know maybe we do a video on building some of these anchors but you got flat bar welded here weld a one inch pipe on the top of it bend these up on a 45 put a chunk of steel in there for some weight to help get it on bottom Go to fishing a lot of current, you're going to need a good drag. That's quarter inch bar bent from my barbs up there on the end of a inch and a half or two inch solid piece of shaft. It's pretty heavy. And believe it or not, as heavy as this drag is, at a foot and a half long, sometimes I have to add extra weight to get it down on bottom to get it to stay to catch our lines. Not a big river system. You just got to remember there's a lot of fish out there in it. But... These, these edges and these banks and these woods, when that water goes coming up, they come up against some edges to feed. You know, them brim and stuff's coming up shallow. You see flatheads and you blues and stuff, they're feeding along those banks. That's where you're going to catch your fish at. And one thing I look for, me personally, everybody's got a different opinion on this, but if I'm catching ops, I'm looking for that current. And if you look down the river, I'm just I'm just showing you down the river right here. Down here's a curve. Down here in the in the lower end of this frame is a curve in the river. So this bank in here on the right side of this frame, you know, all that current coming down the river is hitting that side of that bank right here. Some of that current's cutting that corner, and that's the kind of places that you're gonna catch fish in. You'll catch some fish anywhere. But if you can get in the back bend, you know, the early back bends or the, the sides where that current's coming around the heaviest or where it's cutting a corner, a lot of times that's where you're going to catch the most fish or that's where I do the best. Right now, the middle of the river here is probably 40 to 45 foot deep. And we're going to be fishing these nets on the edges probably anywhere from 15 to 25 feet down. So you're going to need... From your anchor to your tail end of your net, you're going to need 50, 60 foot of rope. I use 50 foot. Uh, sometimes if it gets deeper, I'll put a little bit more so I don't have so much trouble getting the net up to the boat. Uh, don't have as much drag on it the more rope you use. However, if you got a 50 foot tail line and a 50 foot headline, that's 100 foot of rope. So where you put these nets at, you need to take a drag and drag them out. Make sure it ain't no hangs in there and a bunch of trash, treetops. You know, if you drop that net in a treetop and it hangs up in some limbs, that current will twist it up in there. You'll lose your net or tear it up. So be careful about that too. 
just parallel with the bank and you can see how much current we got in the river you can see the bubbles and stuff coming down i mean it is it is rolling so you know we're not going to fish out here in the center of this heavy current it, it'd be tough getting your nets in so with these conditions about 12 14 foot high i'm going to show you the kind of spots i'd be looking for I'm easing up the bank here looking looking for a spot if I was looking for a new net set just to show y'all. But you know a lot of people fishing 10 to 15 foot above pool stage are going to have their net sitting about where the pool stage line is on bottom. So a lot of people will come in the summertime or early before the water starts coming up and they'll clean out those spots on the bank. Uh, to make sure they don't have any trash or logs in there to hang up on and they'll clean them out of spot right about the pool stage line and I'm gonna show you right here what I'm talking about now, this is about I'm gonna assume you know in the rivers rising so we're fixing to get to 15 foot above pool stage here so the spots I'm gonna be looking for is normally about where the pool stage line is I can look right at the edge of this brush and just, I know already that right under this boat is going to be brush. If I was going to put a net in here, I would drag this out from up here where my anchor would be all the way down through here, make sure there was no hangs in here. And I would also come in here and drop my drag and drag out to make sure nobody else had a net in here. And me personally just because i've got a natural this this tree out here is a you know this tree out here is a natural marking spot i would fix it where my net is right out here at the end of this log jam that's where i want the head of my net so i would go up there drop my anchor pull my net back in here my tail line back here that way i can come back and find my spot when i get ready to drag for my net I drag right across here and catch my net, my, my head line of my net. Now, all that being said, if I was fishing and not going to use an anchor, if I wanted to fish half column of the water to catch buffalo, and you'll catch some good catfish that way too at times, if I wasn't going to anchor my, my nets on bottom, I'd be looking for some limbs somewhere that hung further out here that I could tie on to or a treetop that's blowed over where I could tie on out here and bring this net back down in here and fish it halfway in the column. All right, I pulled over to the other side of the river. I'm directly across from what I was just showing you. And I'm gonna show you something over here. You know, you got a, you got a stepping bank over here at pool stage. All this flooded timber over here is just, uh, it's it's about seven eight foot of water out there in that timber right now and this is a bank but you know this bank don't have as much current right here at this stage in the river as that bank over there does and if you look you can see how steep that drops off you know automatically more current comes down that side of the river and uh you know if, if you don't have a lot of current that's definitely a side you want to be on if it's real high and you got current coming down this side, you can catch fish on this side of the river just like you can the other side. It's another good spot right here. You can see this current coming around the bank of this river, and you know you got a wash right here. You know if you look up this river, you can you can drag off of these steep banks sometimes and find a find a shelf out in here. You won't be 20, 30 foot off of these banks. It may be 20, 30 foot deep right there. So as soon as you find that shelf that comes down and where it turns, a lot of times you can put your net right in here against these steep banks. And and sometimes that'll make a good set and you can catch some fish in there. All right, right here is one of my sets I've been fishing for a lot of years right here. About 20, 25 years I've been fishing this set. And I already know where my net's going to be, but every year when I come back, I'm still going to throw in here and drag out come out into the river make sure nobody's got a net in here and I'm also making sure that uh, I know exactly where that drop off is going to be it's going to be right about in here about 30 35 foot off of this bank where I'm going to want my net and 
there's also a lot of times there'll be a second shelf out here and I may drop two nets in here. It depends on, you know, I'm not getting a bunch of rain, not a lot of current. I may, I may drop two nets in here side by side. We'll just see how it goes. But I'm gonna drag this out and I'm also gonna drag down the river, make sure no trees or nothing like that's drifted down in here in my net set. We know this net's going the edge of the drop off right under these limbs of this tree here. We know it's going right down in the edge of that drop off. So it's going down. Just gonna let the current drift take the boat back. And that net's gonna roll right in there right. I'm confident of it. We're right against this flooded timber over here on the east side of the Washita River. And, uh, you know, it's five, six, seven foot deep up in that timber. But right here, this, this bank drops off pretty good. So, well, well, how you know how deep it is? Well, that's my depth finder right there. That's an old school depth finder. I drop that down right there. Start right there. That's five foot, 10 foot, 15 foot. That's right at 20 foot deep right there. So, I'll drag out to see where that drop off is. I already know it's right at the edge of these, these limbs here. So I want that net to sit right in here on that drop off. So that's the first thing I'm gonna do. The first thing I'm gonna drop it in, drag out and see where my drop off's at. Right there I'm holding it, right there the rope starts dropping off. Right like I said at the end of them limbs right there. So that's where we want our net on that drop off. Now I'm gonna drag right down the edge of these limbs and just make sure that the bottom's clean and I don't have anything that net's gonna hang up on. So far, so good, I'm not feeling nothing. As long as I can get about 100, 120 foot in there, I, I can get it in there and make it work. That's gonna work for us. We got plenty of room to get that net in there. So, we're just gonna put this net in here. See how it works out. Yep. So right there, this exact set, I have not fished this set. That's uh I'm gonna drop a net in here and see. That's just the way you gotta do it. You know, sometimes you kinda guess and something happens it moved me off of my normal set. I'm just dropping back 50 or 75 feet and dropping a net right back in there on this same bank. We'll see what happens. Yep. Got a lot of people ask, hey, you know, what size nets do I need? Well, that depends on how many fish you want to dress, how many fish you're going to eat, and how much work you want to do. Uh, if I had one net to pick, it'd be this one right here. This is a 42 inch, that's three and a half foot, inch and a half mesh. Um, if I had one net to pick, that's what I would pick simply because I can take this net catch channel cats like we've been doing, or I can take it and catch ops. Uh, if I had to have one net to feed my family, this is what I would pick. Now, that being said, if I wanted to do less work, which is what I really want to do, and easier to raise in, in heavy currents and stuff, I would go with this same size hook, 42 inch hook, two and a half inch mesh net. But then I'm only gonna catch bigger ops and uh, probably catch, may even catch more op. I mean, you, you that's probably the flathead catching net, you know, is a two or two and a half inch mesh. Probably my favorite would be a two inch. 
but easier to raise is two and a half and the older I get I'm, I'm gone to two and a half but I've got some of all of them and I'll fish them till they wear out and then we'll change them to two or two and a half to make it a little easier the older I get all right y'all see it's going right the edge of them limbs 20 foot of water right there that's the last one for today all right that's it for this one we got the nets put in a little bit different video but uh some people some people want to see that maybe it'll help some people out next one will be a little bit more exciting hopefully we'll have some fish we uh god's country hunting and fishing keeping it real